Um, do you think one way or the other, Congressman, this is a sort of a test for Donald Trump? Well, good afternoon, Neil. Great to be with you. Uh, sure. I mean, this is the first statewide referendum, if you will, on the president, both here, of course, in Virginia and New Jersey, but this one getting most of the attention. So uh, that's why you see the president tweeting about it. It is important. It is important that we elect Ed Gillespie in Virginia, but I think so. I think it is a, a, a test, and there are national implications on, on both sides of the aisle, uh, Democrat or Republican, and that's why they're very much watching this race. You know, uh, much has been made of the fact that uh, Mr. Gillespie, for one reason or another, has not opted to have the the president campaign on his behalf. Uh, he welcomes any and all, you know, uh, supportive tweets and the like. But, but as many times as the president has golfed in the state, I believe 15 times at his course there, uh, he has not uh, been at a Gillespie event. Uh, what do you make of that? Well, I'm certainly not privy to the internal communications between the Gillespie camp and the president. I knew you know, the vice president came out for him. We had a huge event for, for Gillespie in Virginia Beach that had tons of excitement. I know that the president's supportive. I couldn't tell you why or why he has or has not been in Virginia, but I know he's supportive, and I know that he's getting help from a lot of folks across the country. You know, much was made, of course, uh, of the election uh, back in, in 2009 where Bob McDonald won. And if you think about it, that was the same year Chris Christie won in New Jersey. And sure enough, in 2010, we had the Republicans take over the House. And, and, and much is thought about how these type of elections telegraph what's to come a year later. Do you buy that? Not necessarily. I mean, what's, what's interesting here is, you know, you had headwinds against Ed Gillespie initially, who has worked right. tirelessly. Um, you know, the president lost Virginia. Hillary Clinton did win Virginia. And the, the Democrats thought that, that, uh, that Ralph would take it, take it away pretty easily. But Ed's worked really hard across the state. He's confident. I texted with him a little earlier. I think you're going to have a tight race. It might be a long night tonight. Uh, but I think, you know, one of the things that's really united Republicans is that nasty racist ad that was sent out that's really despicable. And that's really united all factions of the Republican Party, but you know, I, you know, I think we're in for a long night tonight. All right, you're referring to that Latino Victory uh, Fund ad. It was a pro Northam group, the Democratic candidate, depicting Gillespie supporters in a pickup truck, I believe, chasing down. Pissed, pissed uh, a lot of people off in children. Virginia. Yeah. It was nasty. Yeah. Um, and, well, whatever dust up over that ad, it does seem to have narrowed, have been one of the factors narrowing this gap in the race here. If if even with all of that, Gillespie still loses and, and uh, the Democrat pips, picks up the gubernatorial election in, in New Jersey, would you be worried? For, for the future, uh, no, not, not necessarily. Again, I mean, all, all the headwinds were against Ed. Uh, the Democrats thought that they were going to you know, blow him out of the water. That has not happened. You're, you're, it's very clear you, you're going to have a tight race, and they understand that as well. Ed's had a lot of momentum in the past couple of weeks, which is exactly what you need going into the election. So, no, I, I'm not worried. I think it's. I think it, if uh, you know, I'm hopeful, and I think that Ed will win. That'll be great for Republicans, of course. But if he does win, it will be very bad for Democrats. Well, I have you here, Congressman. Let me ask you, how, how are you on this tax cut? What you've heard thus far for it, concerns about it? I have, I have a few uh, detail, small detail concerns, but in general, of course, in the, in the framework, when you look at repatriation of money, when you look at corporate uh, tax competitiveness and reducing that rate, and you, when you look at helping working families, those are fundamental things to me that, that have to happen. But I think, you know, a, a lot of folks are really getting wrapped around the axle, which I guess is tradition, on every detail at this moment. And as you very well know, Neil, there's a lot more work to be done. You know, we right. don't even have the complete bill yet for us in the House, which I think we will very soon. Then it's going to go to the Senate, then it's going to go to conference. So there, there are, there's a lot more work to be done, uh, but I think we're heading in the, in the correct trajectory. 